Hey boys and girls, so today we're going to go to Clever, and on our Clever page, you're going to go to code.org, all right, it should log you in there, and then up at the top of your screen, after you've logged into code.org, I want you to click on the Create tab, and go down to the bottom where it says Dance Party, okay? And from here, you are on a blank workspace. So we're going to go through step by step how to add these. So you may want to listen and then pause the video and then start it back and then listen, pause the video, start it back and so on. Okay. So the first thing we're going to do is give our um, little area a background. So I'm going to choose a background. Um, let's see. I think I'm going to choose the set background effect and snap it in. And then I can go over here and I can change what it is. So I'm going to choose, um, you know what? I'm going to choose spring because I'm hoping for springtime coming. And then I'm going to choose, uh, ooh, blooming petals. I like that. All right. So you have all these choices you get to pick through. So this might take a few minutes. Like I said, if you need to pause the video. Um, ooh, I like that one. Okay. All right, and so then after you've gotten your background, you're going to add in some dancers. And so you're just going to click make a new. And then it started with a cat. I'm going to change mine. You have all of these options. Since I'm doing spring, I think I'm going to do a frog. And I don't want her in the middle of my flower. That looks weird. So I'm going to put her at the bottom of my screen. There we go. Okay. And you know what? I don't want her to be all alone. So I'm going to add in another one. Let's see. Let's do... Um, a duck and it's going to be at the bottom left and then let's do one more so i'm going to add in a let's do another spring thing i don't know no let's just do a dog because miss clifton loves all the dogs all right and then we'll do that to the right okay perfect so now again you probably want to pause the video go add your characters and then start it back so now that you've got characters and a background we're going to add in some things for them to do. So we're going to let our dancers, um, let's go to, <laughs> we're gonna let all of our dancers start dancing, okay? Now, it says set all to dance speed fast, and then I think I'm gonna let them, let's see, I want all of them to alternate between a body roll and a, you know what, let's do a body roll and a this or that, okay? And so now I've got my background, I've got my characters, I've got my speed, I think I'm just gonna do normal, and then I've got what I want them to do. And so then here's the really fun part that may take you an extra little minute because you've got a lot of songs that you get picked through. So Miss Clifton is old school. I'm going to go with an old school song. Let's see. Hmm. Let's see if Miss Clifton can find an old school song. I like maybe get into the group. Oh, that's Madonna. Let's do You Can't Touch This, MC Hammer. All right, here we go. And then I'm going to hit run. And so you get the idea. So I've got them doing two dance moves. My background's changing. And then I can change my music. Now, what's really fun about this is not only do you get to change all of that, but you can also change how their size is or their motion. Um, so you can have all of them beginning to um, let do tent. Oop, tent. And then we'll do it at mid. All right. And then I hit run. And so not only is my background changing colors, but so are my dancers. I mean, there are so many things that you can do. You can even have specific dancers do specific things. So, for example, if I want to change them all doing the same thing, I can go right here. I can add in and say that I want um, dancer one to um, double down. Okay. And so I can change it again. All right. You can also change your song to anything you want it to be. And not only that, but you get to change all of these different events. So you can make them do something different every four measures or, um, 
add in different things at different points. I mean, there's just so many fun things that you could do with this. So I want to encourage you to just have fun and explore with this and create your own dance world space, okay? Um, again, I do want you to try all of these over here so you can also change like the effect in the background. Um, there's an AI effect, so I can change it to, let's do this one and this one. Okay, and okay, and then generate. Ooh. All right, I love it. And so then I can use this AI effect that also goes in and I can change everything up again. So, so many things for you to explore. You've got functions, you've got the world, you've got your dancers. Um, I can add in more dancers. I don't want bears. Um, let's do cats. All right. Um, and I can put them in a diamond shape. I mean, there's just so many different things you can do. So I hope y'all have a lot of fun with this. If you need help, go back and rewind this video and try again. All right. Bye.